Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm still a little high. I'm tired as hell. But I got some barilla tacos in front of me. This is post Cinco de Mayo, baby, okay? I was zooted as fuck yesterday for Cinco de Mayo. I, I'm not doing hookah and edibles no more. At least not with the edibles I got. I don't know if what it was. I tried this new... Um, I got edibles from the mall. Not my mall, but the Morristown Mall for the first time. Um, the lady did tell me to take a half one. I took a whole one, and I did hookah. All I know is I door dashed some Wawa, fucked that up, went to sleep. Woke up with a banging ass fucking headache. I can't. I'm tired. <laughs> I was so far gone for fucking Cinco de Mayo. It's crazy. But today is Thursday. Um, I didn't want to do a weekly vlog this week because um, I went to Atlanta earlier this week. Um, so that's going to be its own separate vlog. So I guess we can just do this vlog could just be y'all spending the weekend with me, I guess. Um, be it today's Thursday. I just picked up my buddy of tacos from Najee. Her mom can fucking cook, bro. I can't recall if I've had her cooking. I'm high. I don't fucking remember. Um, but I got me some chicken and vegan tacos. So I got two chicken, two vegan, and then the fifth one is half vegan, half chicken. Okay, she got it all cute. Okay, kind of. Okay, so. Let me um show y'all what it looks like and then we finna just dive in, okay? <laughs> for this weird ass angle but we're gonna try it i think this is the chicken taco okay this is the chicken taco and i know that with the bria taco it's not bria tacos if you don't got the sauce so smoke up i know you dip it into the taco cheers hoes Oh my god. It was never supposed to taste that. Yeah. And Ajay's mom? What? She did that. She did that. And with the vegan tacos, they're nothing but veggies. It smells so good, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. She put her foot <laughs> all the way in there. Okay. This shit. What? No way. Best $20 I ever spent. I think she had two for 10, two for 15, five for 20. I can't remember. Y'all, I will never miss out on when her mom ever cooks the fuck again. These are fucking fire, bro. I didn't think I was gonna like the sauce because I don't like sauce on a lot of food. If y'all didn't know, I'm mad picky. What's this? Probably something I won't eat. I'm mad picky when it comes to food. But baby, not this food. Okay, let's try the veggie one. I smell peppers. Hold on. Cheers, ho. Oh my God. 10 out of fucking 10, bro. I can't. It's so good. Najee's mom 
really did that, okay? <laughs> like, she really did that. I'm, I'm beyond pleased. Like I said, best $20 I ever spent. Bro, that's crazy. It was my good, bro. But, um, I'm about to wrap this up right quick. Um, because I got to film for y'all today. I need to drop a video before it gets too late. Um, I'm debating on whether I want to do this story time because it's still fresh or, um, this, uh, haul. I think I'm going to do the haul and drop the story time tomorrow. Okay. But, yeah. That's pretty much all I'm really doing today. I'm filming for you guys. Um, I might get promo done for TikTok. I'm not sure. I might do that tomorrow. Um, get up early and do it tomorrow. Um, I need to clean my room up a little bit more. I'm still high. I'm trying to function. <laughs> trying to freaking function and girl as you can clearly see in my eyes it's, it's not happening love it's not happening so um i will see y'all um whenever i pick my camera back up what's popping y'all hey y'all it is friday okay um y'all see this big ass package right here i got my i got a new hookah so I don't know if y'all remember in my Atlanta vlog, but um, I obviously was doing hookah. And bitch, the hookah was so good and mad smooth. I was like, I need to buy this. Like, <laughs> I need to buy this hookah now. Um, so, you know what I did? My drunk, my drunk done up ass. I read the hookah machine, figured out where they got it from, and boom, bought it. Now, it's the same type of hookah. It's just the bottom of it isn't as big. Um, as far as like the glass goes, it's smaller, but that's fine because baby, as long as it does what it does and it did what it did in Atlanta, I'm fine with that. Um, I just, book blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I just got back in the house. Um, today's Friday. I think I mentioned that. If not, happy Friday, bitch. But it's mad, gloomy out, it's drizzling a little bit. Um, I went to Wawa, I saw my old manager from Burger King, and it's just crazy seeing people like from my past, you know, life and jobs. And it's just like, wow, like, I used to really bust my ass at these nine to fives and now I'm my own boss. And been my own boss for an entire year now. And I'm so blessed and thankful um, because God knew I was tired of working nine to fives. Like he knew I was tired of putting so much work into these jobs that could give two fucks about me, giving bitches raises that worked at these jobs less than a year than I did. And I'm still making chunk change, whatever. Um, I went to Wawa and then some man rolled up on me talking about some man can I get your autograph and I'm like do I know you? He like oh don't act like you don't know me first of all those are fighting words I have kindly reached for my uh pretty defense uh keys cause baby pepper spray's right here <laughs> you can get Mason broad daylight but love don't don't roll up on me like that I'm itching for my keys like uh no obviously I don't know you sir first of all you have a mask on your face so I don't know how the fuck you expect me to identify you with your mask on. Not only that, you look like a regular typical nigga with a black jacket on, blue jeans. I don't know what the fuck he had on his feet. It's just like, no, I don't fucking know you. He takes his mask off. I know who he is. Um, he lives out here in my complex. And he was like, um, you know, how long you been doing this TikTok stuff? And, you know, he was like, that's crazy. You look like you didn't know who I was. I was like, I wasn't acting like I didn't know who you were, but how the fuck did you expect me to tell like who you was like announce yourself like y'all recognizing me in public i i don't be looking at y'all like that for i on my phone or being aware of my surroundings and calling the damn day you can't be rolling up on me like that um and he was just like you know yeah you know i'm on tiktok and i you know i seen you i was like wow that's the girl from around the way like you know you really out here doing your thing you know how long have you been doing it? i was like you know just a couple months because honestly truly i haven't been on TikTok in a long time, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, and speaking of that, I do have promos I need to do for them for TikTok, but um, I've been really trying to get back into my the YouTube swing of things, but I am trying to get back into TikTok as well and just managing both simultaneously. And you know, we was just talking for like a second, and he was like, Um, can I get your autograph? It might be worth some. First of all, you're not gonna make no money off of me, sir. 
you you're not gonna make no money off of me i mean if you want me to give you a job i can give you one um but you're not gonna make no money fucking money off of me babe that's just not what we fins to do um he was just like damn like you really treat me like you don't know me niggas always say that and <laughs> i think it's funny that they say that because you really us females really don't be knowing these niggas and they be feeling really entitled to like getting to know you or whatever i don't know it was just weird and kind of creepy he's older than me like way older than me like he's somebody's well no he's a couple he got a couple kids like mm, mm, sir just 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 let's not do that <laughs> um but yeah um but yeah, it was just like, damn, like, people are starting to notice me out in public because of TikTok. Like, I need security. <laughs> it's time for me to get some top flight motherfucking security of the world. Because, baby, if this is how y'all finna act all summer when y'all see me outside, because I'm outside. Man, ain't no more being in the house, bitch. I'm outside. From sun up, from sun down, I'm outside, okay? So, I, I definitely think I need to start taking that into consideration as well. Um... I'm no longer a regular average Jersey bitch. Like, I'm neither fucking brat from New Jersey, born and fucking raised. And I got it out the mud. <laughs> I dead ass got it out the mud. Nobody paved no way for me. I paved my own way. I stay in my own lane. And that's just that. Um, But yeah, girl, let me shut the hell up. I'm going to come back after I eat my food. I'm going to show you what my food looks like. I got that shirt platter that y'all seen a couple weeks ago. Yeah, girl, I got that again because it was good to hell. Um, and I'm gonna come back and unbox this hookah for y'all on camera. But I just wanted to show my face before I dive into this food. Okay, and that's Piriana. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm done eating. so i'm back girl i had that fat ass box just for them to give me this like okay it is the golden desert hookah y'all when i tell you slush had the smoothest i mean smoothest motherfucking hookah i have ever 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 this comes in pink but this ain't have pink on the side so I got red. Let's see what she's giving. Let's see what she's giving, girl. <sighs> it don't even feel like I just left and went on vacation. Like, it literally feels like I went on a trip and came back. <laughs> I should have stayed in Atlanta for another day. That's what I should have did. That's what I should have did. Now, I'm home from vacation and my bestie on vacation. Like, ain't that about bitch? Like, we might as well go on vacation together at this point. But we are, though. We're going on vacation for her birthday. Bubble wrap. Do y'all like bubble wrap? I be playing with bubble wrap like I'm a little kid. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Just some stuff that you used to do as a kid will never die when you're in a boat. Like my inner child is very satisfied right now. That all of it. You ever used to play with bubble wrap when you were younger and then like once you pop all of it, you wanna um you step on it to see if you pop everything. I'm sorry, I have to do this. That's how like girl, your child is just uh what's that? <laughs> I told y'all I will be very real and transparent with y'all. Y'all know I don't care. Okay. Sure, you're not in there. Oh, no. <laughs> We're almost done. I just have to pop this. I'm so sorry. I'm probably like, girl, what's wrong with you? You're really childish for that. And it is. Okay. Now that that's done, we have. Oh, we got the ceramic. This is ceramic. It's 
smell some of the smoke. Uh, what's, what is that? What is that? It's the little um thing where you put your shisha, your your flavor. Now that I know how to put hookah together, bitch, you can't tell me nothing, okay? Like nothing at all. Oh, I'm pretty sure this goes inside the hookah, so you know you can um what you call it. So you can um puff it and pass, even though we clearly will be passing passing and puffing nothing. Okay. Here's the rest of it. <laughs> it's like, it's so hard to take out because it's wrapped really, really well. So I will just put a picture of it on the screen once I do assemble it together. But yeah, girl, I'm a hookah hole. Y'all already know what the fuck is up. What type time we on with this hookah shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, girl, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, today's Friday. I ain't doing nothing else for the rest of the day. I'm probably just gonna, you know, lay down and watch some TV. Um, yeah, lay down and watch some TV. I need to clean my hookah because once I got high the other night, baby, I was so high, I couldn't even clean it the next day. Like, I still feel a little high. No, yesterday I was still high. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I was high as hell yesterday. Um, I feel like I still look high. Do I look high to y'all? Let me know in the comments below. I know y'all, I'm talking to y'all like y'all can fucking respond. <laughs> but let me know if I look high. I feel like my cheekbones and my eyes make it look like I'm a little high, but I, I promise you, I. <laughs> It don't feel like it. I mean, it kind of do, but like I'm better than I was yesterday and the day before, girl. Hookah and that edible that I just got, baby, never the fuck again. Never again, okay? Like I was on some shit, patch. <laughs> I ain't gonna say and lie to you. Um, but yeah, girl. Um, I'm not doing nothing. Um, and if I do, I will come back on camera. I might play some makeup tonight. I might, I might play as a makeup tonight, you know what I'm saying? I think I am though, because my brows are freshly waxed. My skin looks bomb. I think I'm I think I am gonna play in some makeup. Um that might be a separate video. Um, but I will like show y'all the out, outcome of my makeup before and after um I do it. So yeah. I will see y'all um when I do my makeup. <laughs> hey y'all good morning well good afternoon it's like almost 1 30. i'm just not getting up i got up like uh, maybe a half hour ago i don't know why my camera look like that i don't know but anyways <laughs> um today is saturday i didn't have any plans but um my good sis quay quasia Y'all met her in a couple of vlogs ago. This whole bit MIA because she just crossed. Yes, y'all, she just crossed. Um, She just crossed. <laughs> and I'm so freaking proud of her. And I just, like, all my bitches are really doing it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really, like, amazed. So, um, she's throwing um, a, one of her first events tonight. And, of course, you know, I'm going to show up and show out because you know i have no plans and it's only right to support my bitch um so right now i'm in the midst of getting ready i'm about to go to walmart um i was gonna go to walmart just for me but i was like why don't i come bearing gifts so i'm gonna actually go to walmart and get her some stuff for her youtube channel um i've been hearing that um walmart has stuff like for vloggers and things like that and i think she needs a little you know a little push you know to start her channel because you know I know that's something that she wants to do and listen i'm this is the type of friend i am and all my friends can attest to this i you <laughs> we could talk about anything and the moment you say you need something or you want something or you never got this or something like that out of the kindness of my heart i'm gonna go get it for you i'm gonna go get it for you and that's just me like i just i i can't help it like my gift 
my gift giving. My love language is gift giving. I grew up getting shitty ass gifts, gag gifts, gifts that didn't really mean shit. And you know, growing up, it's not about the gifts and it's not, but it's just like, I take my holidays very seriously. I don't want no raggedy ass gift. You have 365 days to think of a thoughtful meaning gift and all the gifts that I've been given my entire life have no meaning behind them and no more. So my friends are blessed to have a bitch like me because they one thing about two things for sure they know I'm finna step for them and I'm finna get them whatever the fuck they need. So we're gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back home. Um I'm gonna post this TikTok promo and get that out the way and let that be done. Um and then I'm gonna get ready for her event to get cute. Okay, cuz part we're gonna get cute. And I'm excited. I haven't seen her in like two months. Yeah, it's been two months since May now. I didn't see her all of April. Or I might have seen her early April. I just didn't see. I don't fucking remember. It's been too fucking long, bitch. <laughs> um, also, I want to be transparent. Let's have a transparent moment. Um, today, I was supposed to graduate from Delaware State University. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um i'm i'm okay i didn't think i was gonna be okay today i honestly kind of planned to sleep the day away um and just do whatever because it just sucks like you know you know i'm not graduating today i do have something in store for y'all in a couple months you just have to wait and see what it is but it's just like damn like today would have been my graduation day i would have been graduating with all my peers that you know i went to school with freshman year and all that and just to see that i'm not a part of that sucks um Especially because if you know me personally, you should know I'm such a nerd. Like, I've always been a nerd, even in school, and it showed. It it was it was so bad. Like, I literally love school so much. Um, I'll never forget when I was younger. I think I was like five in like the first grade. I had to get my tonsils taken out, and I had to be out of school for a week. My doctor sent me back after day three because I kept bothering him because I wanted to go back to school so damn bad. <laughs> That's how much I love school and my education. But you know everything happens for a reason i'm a firm believer of that now because before you couldn't tell me shit um i'm no longer bitter about it um just know that the black sheep of the family always get the last laugh i will always be the class of 2021 i'm very proud of those who are graduating today and if you're not graduating today please do not beat yourself up because listen um slow and steady wins the race and there's no race when it comes to getting your college education listen shit happens and it's it's out of your control you do what's best for you as long as you know that you're going to get your college degree and that's what you want to get go get it it's not a race it's going to happen for you everything is going to happen in god's plan okay um do not beat yourself up today i'm very proud of you for those who did graduate today congrats you are now you know <laughs> you're in a you're completely grown babe like you're about to go step into your field of work and do the damn thing and i'm so proud of y'all um, shout out to the graduates um, all over the world today, too, not just DSU, um, but shout out to all the grads that are graduating today. I'm just so proud of everybody. And yeah, so I just had to give love and, sh and you know, give my flowers, you know. Um, but yeah, let me just stop looking like I'm about to go bust some tables and get ready. I'll see y'all. Hey, you guys, it's the skin for me. Hey y'all, it is Monday. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I recorded yesterday for Mother's Day. Um, yeah, today's Monday. We're starting off this month monthly, weekly vlog right on a great, bright Monday. Um, I just went to the doctors to, <clears throat> excuse my throat's dry. I just went to the doctors to pick up my script for my x-ray that I was supposed to get. Um, and the weekly vlog right before my trip where everything was going the fuck wrong um as y'all saw my fucking doctor gave me the wrong script for the wrong foot and now she corrected it um i come down here i went to the post office to try to pick up one of my packages because it said it's supposed to come here today now they're talking about it's not coming till tomorrow no i don't know about y'all but i chase my packages i'm a brat don't give me a date set in time and tell me it's coming and then it don't i don't fucking like that um so I've been trying to hunt down my package, but apparently um, they don't ship the packages to my actual post office. They ship it to the post office in the next town over, which is fucking frustrating because it doesn't look like I want to spend money on the Uber to go chase my package, but you know I will. So um, that's what I'm about to go do. I'm outside of the hospital where I'm supposed to get my x-ray done. Um, 
and they're, they're closed they're fucking closed i did not know that they closed at like 2 30 it is fucking three something now almost four pissing me off so now i'm gonna go chase my fucking package because i want my bag the fuck i have been waiting for that bag for a good month now and the month is over give me my shit um so yeah happy monday um i hope you guys um enjoy your monday i hope you guys enjoyed your mother's day um i know mother's day can be very sensitive for some of us for those who have lost their children um you know but mother's day is not just for those who have bared children and were able to have them they are for all types of mothers all motherly like figures if you nurture a child i celebrated mother's day yesterday um a little bit somebody even wished me a happy mother's day i have nurtured ch nurtured children since they were kids and you know i might not have biological children but they're considered my kids so and happy mother's day to the throat babies as well okay <laughs> If you a throw if you a throw baby mom, happy Mother's Day to you, bitch, or two, okay? So yeah, I'm finna order my Uber and um, hopefully get my package because can can we get something that happens positively today? You know, because Monday is really Mondaying right now. But yeah, um, I will talk to y'all. I just love my bag. I've been waiting for that bag yeah, for a month oh, now. Sorry. And okay, thank you. Uh -huh. I had to literally go to another town to get my bag. Like, no, that is so crazy. Right, no, I'm taking part. Oh, okay. But, um, um, how much is it for this thing? Let's you just hope she come back with my bag. We're going to see. We're going to see. I, gonna see. Like I look like I'm stressed. I'm ready to take these braids out. Yeah. I want to get them again, but it's like, okay. I'm ready for a week, so like, I don't know what, should, what I should do, but I'll come back and then we'll see what the verdict is, because, girl, I need some positivity today, okay? <laughs> I'll see y'all. If I could burn a fucking building down, I swear to God I would, like, I really... <laughs> Maybe this is something I need to work on. I hate not getting what the fuck I want. So the lady just said that it's here in this building, but it hasn't been sorted out to get shipped to me. So that means I can't get it until tomorrow. So I just wasted $20 coming out this way to come get this bag and now I can't go home with it. I'm really getting tested. I'm really getting tested. Today is Monday. For sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the house, I'm gonna eat, shower, do my TikTok promo, and relax. And I need to meditate before it gets real destructive. I will see y'all when I get the fuck in the house. Cause I almost punched her in her face. I'll see y'all. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> um, I... Okay, I'm not in shambles. Let me let me not say that. I'm not <laughs> that turn on TikTok. I'm, I'm crying. Um, I'm not in shambles. Um, but I will say this week has been a very rough week for me. Um, it of course it, how convenient. I come back from vacation. I've been happy, you know, spending my money, you know, spoiling myself, treating myself because I deserve everything that I've been buying myself, which y'all will see really soon. Um, and then I come home to bullshit. You know, misery loves company. And when people no longer have access to you, they will literally go out of their way to make your life miserable because you no longer will give them access to you. And I feel like that is so fucking weird. And yes, I'm talking about the people that I live with because a lot of people, especially on TikTok, have been asking, you know, why don't you record your family anymore? Or, you know, what's going on? I still had to do a major life update with you guys, but here's a mini life update. Um, let me, you know what, before we even get into that BS, let's get into what I'm about to unbox. So let's start from yesterday. Um, cause yesterday was such a bad day. Um, I'm going to get into that, but let me just, let's, let's just get into what, you know, I have purchased because I, I feel like Aaliyah's face, like, 
how I get over things and, um, you know, but like how I think she said this too, like how she gets over things. Like she, and she buys stuff. She impulsively buys stuff. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I do too. Um, this wasn't an impulsive buy. This I purchased last month and it just took a month to come along with the shoes that are going to match. I'm going to show y'all. Um, this stuff here, I didn't really need, well, actually, no, I did need two of the things. Um, the other two stuff, which I just had coupons for, um, and I just wanted to get it. So I, you know, mini CVS haul right quick. Um, I got the Joy, the pink one, the zero five blade. Um, it comes with one eraser and two cartridges. Um, I've been seeing this like at Walmart. I don't know why it's doing that. I've been seeing this at like Walmart and like all over the place, Walgreens, right? Um, and I just wanted to try it. I usually use Venus razors, um, but this one looks like it'll give me more of a closer shave. I'm not using this on my girl down there. I'm using this for like my arms, my face, um, my legs and stuff like that until I start waxing. Um, but yeah, I just needed a new razor for that. So that should be interesting. Um, I just picked it up because I threw out all my old razors. I don't know about y'all, but like you, I, I'm quick to throw something out. I, I don't care how long I've had it. I'm gonna throw something out. It was time for me to get new razors. I don't play that shit. Um, when something's really old and needs to be replaced, it's going to get replaced. And I did just that. I think it was like $11. It came with two, um, refill drawings. So I'm not, not too mad about that. I went ahead and caught my thing. Okay. Y'all know, I. Y'all peep the glow. Y'all know I don't play with the month of skincare haul, okay? I just got the Aveeno Positively Radiant, Radiant Brightening Cleanser. I got this again. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. I got this again. I don't know if y'all know or if y'all remember. I feel like the OG should know. Even if you, you might not. Um, Because I feel like this was mentioned in a video that I no longer have up. It's like gone off my channel. I deleted it. Um, This, I started using this in... Was it last year? Either last year or the year prior. I'm pretty sure it was last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this cleanser definitely helped me get my glow back on top of my Mario Badescu sprays that I showed y'all in my skincare haul. I will link that somewhere above here in the car so y'all can go watch that. Um, I need a gentle cleanser. Um, all the cleansers that I've been using, CeraVe, Bior, they're not gentle. Um, they have, you know, the good acids in it. They have the retinol, the your BHAs, your AHAs. They have all that stuff in it. And the current CeraVe that I'm using for my face right now is a acne treatment. As you can clearly see, I don't really have acne. I mean, I have a pimple right here. But other than that, you know, I don't have any acne. So I don't really need to be using that cleanser. I need to use more of a gentle one. And I also want to try this Urban Skin RX skincare that I got as well, which I will show y'all soon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a gentle cleanser. This was very gentle on the skin, very soft. Clearly my skin loved it. It definitely gave me the glow, um, and brightened my skin up. And I freaking love this. It smells so good. Now I didn't want to get the three-step treatment, which is the cleanse, moisturize, and treat. Um, just because I already have a sunscreen that I use. Um, and I just didn't want to spend all that money on the rest of Avino's products, especially CVS, because this was pricey. This was like $11. Um... The serum was like $25. The moisturizer was $22. I have all that at home. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I need to go to Sephora one of these days to get like two refills of my Fenty sunscreen because I'm running low. That's how much I've been using it. I literally got it last month and it's almost gone. If that doesn't work, girl, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, I had to copy this because this was a must. This was a must. And I kept neglecting it and they didn't have the, um, the acne foaming cleanser in stock. Um, because it's very popular and of course TikTok made me buy that so you know then I went ahead and got me some more NYX gloss I don't need any more NYX gloss okay I really don't I got them in these two colors um this the darker one is red velvet super cute it's like it's coming off red on camera but in person it's really like a dark burgundy unless I'm tripping <clears throat> And then I went ahead and got another one. And this is Cream Brulee. Like I told y'all, I've been wanting to get into lip combos. And I just had a coupon for NYX. So I was just like, why not? <laughs> then, last but not least, I got me a Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. And it is in the color Rouge. 
No, it's in the color 19 called My Own Boss. Super freaking cute. Let's see what she's given. I just want to see. It's a definitely, ooh, it smells good. This is the color of it. Um, I just, I don't know. I've been into red lips. Like, I just want a red lip with a cute ass, long ass pony to my butt. It's a look that's going to be served really soon. Okay. Okay. Um, and in total, I pretty much spent $37. Yes, $37 on nothing. And of course, the gloss fell. What you fucking do? Anyways. Okay. Here's my bag. Listen. The Pisces Finest, my girl. My homegirl, near and dear to my heart. I seen her with this bag one day. And I don't know about y'all, but like when I follow girls that do YouTube or just influencers in general, I love seeing like when they post where they get their stuff from because a lot of the times their stuff is mad cute. Um, and this particular item, a lot of people didn't have. Like this was an exclusive ass item. I meant to get it when, um, when uh, this first, when I first seen it. But I was just like so hesitant, like, oh my gosh. And I don't know why I was hesitant. I kind of felt bad for being hesitant about it because, you know, this is a black owned luxury brand, okay? Um, and I didn't, you know, I was hesitant. But then I went to, you know, Lennox and went to Neiman's and bought a $700 Michael Kors bag, Michael Kors, a $700 MCM bag with no problem. Anyway. Um, this is an exclusive ass bag. She no longer sells this bag. This bag was originally an exclusive item. And then I was sick because when I seen it, I should have grabbed it. Then it sold out. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, can you please restock this? She was like, no, I'm not. And then out of nowhere, not because of me, um, she ended up restocking the bag and girl, I copped it. As soon as she dropped it, I'm pretty sure I was like the first person to buy the damn bag. Like I was not playing super fucking cute. And I got the shoes to match. I'm going to redo. I'm going to do another haul with just the bag and the shoes. But baby, it was worth it. Look at this fucking bottle. Look at this fucking bag. It is the M-shaped um, bag. I'm pretty sure her name brand, her brand name is Volaire et Beni. I feel like I chopped that a little bit. I will put this in the description box below. She sells really dope ass luxury pieces. So oh, let me take it out the bag for y'all. I ain't finna do y'all like that. Let me take it out the bag for y'all. I couldn't enjoy my bag yesterday. Um, oh yeah, and this was the bag that I was about to beat the lady up at the post office for the other day because I was so pissed that I couldn't get it. Um, but baby, it's... Uh, girl, she's giving like... It's the the crocodile print, the red, like everything about this bag screams sexy. Like it literally matches underneath of my nails. So fucking cute. Now I did imagine this bag to be slightly bigger, um, but I'm not mad at it. It's so fucking cute. This is an exclusive bag. This girl does no longer sell this bag because she wants to remain exclusive and that's fine. <clears throat> but girl, now I'm an exclusive brat with this bag, with the shoes to match because baby, this is a piece. This is a piece like when I get my apartment, I you will see this bag mounted somewhere, okay? I'm loving the tag. The tag gives just, oh, uh, like girl, it's it's giving. It's fucking giving. Like I love it. Like I, I'm not even gonna give, give y'all the tea on this bag until I do another haul with it and do a look, girl. If you see me out with this bag and the shoes, girl, be scared of me. Be scared of me. Watch out for me because, baby, I'm not coming to play. This is such a fucking bag. I'm so happy that I got my hands on it. Um, definitely worth the purchase. This bag was $155. Very fucking affordable for a black home luxury brand. She came out with shoes to match, and I cannot wait to rock those. That won't be here um, until... I think I might take that on my trip with me next month. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Um, but I will not... I will not. Um, the shoes won't get here until after the shoes won't get here until July. I ordered them last month as well. Yep, I ordered the shoes last month as well. Um, and because I guess they had to be designed and you know, they're they won't be here in time. I might put I'll put a picture somewhere here on the screen and show y'all what they look like. But yes, that's it for the unboxing. So let's get into the the mental shit. Because I feel like I haven't tapped in with y'all on my mental, and I feel like when I first talked about my um 
family, my toxic family. I did a YouTube live about it. I didn't keep it up because I just didn't want that negativity on my channel. And in all actuality, I should have probably kept it up just to see or just to show like how much progress I've made since then. So yesterday um, and the day before yesterday were just bad days. Like yesterday, I was not expecting it to be a bad day. It was literally one of those days that I woke up, did everything right and shit just turned out, turned out for the worst. Um, so I came home because I needed to apply for something for, I can't even tell you what I was applying for. I was applying for something and I needed my mother's tax information. Mind you, she was already on the phone. I could hear that through the wall and I could see that when I came in the house. And my friend that I met out in Atlanta, um, T, y'all will see, well, y'all seen her in the vlog. Um, I needed her help and she was willing to help me. So, um, you know, she told me what I needed to get. Um, and I was texting my mom. I don't really like talk to her like that. Um, <clears throat> like we talk through text, but like, in like person, like we don't really like really exchange much of words. And it's just easier for me to text her than to go out there constantly over and over again and just to talk to her. It's just simpler that way. Um, I had told her that I needed something from her and she just, you could tell she already had an attitude as she always does. And she just starts blacking on me like, I'm not doing this because I told her, you know, I text because she didn't, you know, she wouldn't tell me what she wouldn't allow me to like she wouldn't come to me because she was on the phone. So I was just like, OK, well, get dressed. I, I'm paying for a lift. We need to go to H&R Block to get these forms. Um, and, you know, I need you to come with me. Um, so I go out in the living room and she's like, I'm not doing this. Your stuff has to wait. Da, 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 da. I don't like waiting. Like when I need something done, I need it done now. And she's always been like that. Like whenever I say I need something, she has to question it or um, I have to give her an explanation why, or I have to literally just like damn near be in shambles for her to do something for me. But you know, for my sister, for anybody else that, you know, treats her bad or does whatever the fuck they want to do to her, she won't hesitate to jump and hop, skip and go do it for them. So I was just like, you know, I was being calm, like how I'm talking to y'all. I was really calm. I wasn't disrespecting her, nothing. I could see she already had an attitude. So when I know when she has an attitude, I know how to move. I know how to talk. Um, and I've always been gentle. Like, I don't just blatantly disrespect them or anybody in this house or anybody for that matter. You could ask my friends. My friends will vouch for that. I do not blatantly just get real irate and disrespectful. You have to take me there to get irate and disrespectful. But anyway, so, you know, I asked her kindly. I said, well, you know, um... She was like, yeah, I asked her, I said, you know, I need to do this. And she was like, oh, don't sign me up for nothing. You should have wait. You should have asked me first. I'm sitting here dealing with this, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, she was on the phone. I literally told her I just need her to come with me, bring her ID, show her face, get the form and call it a day. Like, I'm not telling you to stop what you're doing. I'm not telling you to hang up your phone call. I'm not diminishing whatever you got going on. Cause again, I didn't know what the hell she has going on. We don't talk like that for me to know what's going on in her daily life. Yes, we live in the same house, but I don't keep up with her. She don't keep up with me. Well, she do keep up with me, but anyway. Um, so, you know, I'm talking to her calm and I'm like, you know, I need this done today. She's like, no, you should have told me last week. You should have told me the other day. And I felt like she was being funny when she said you should have told me last week because she knows I wasn't here last week. I was gone for like four or five days. Um, I should have fucking stayed an extra day, but I was like, you know what, let me just come home and just get my stuff together because I did have promo for TikTok that needed to get done. Um, which in the future, I'm going to act like Kyla Shay. I will not leave the vicinity of my room or the vicinity of my area until my work is done because me thinking well I didn't think about that over break over my vacation but it was just like damn like I do have to come home and do this I could have did this before but whatever a lot, a lot happened that prevented me from not doing it but it's done now um so then you know she was being smart about that she was being really irate and I kept telling her like you know well I'm not stopping you from what you're doing you know you can still do what you have to do I'm not taking you from now i'm not saying you have to literally just stop what you're doing and do what i have to do i'm letting you know the uber's already paid for us on the way come with me because i don't have my car yet um and i didn't see the point in us walking or whatever so i was just like you know to make shit easier you know just come with me we can go we'll be out no i'm not fucking doing that <clears throat> You have to wait. What you got going on, what I have going on is more important than you. That's, that that pissed me off. First of all, I understand you don't want shit to do with me. You don't like me. Whatever your problem is with me, you're jealous of me, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I didn't do anything to you. I'm your child. Don't sit here and tell me that 
what you have going on is more important than me because it's not. I'm the child that's literally, again, still rebuilding her life by herself, doing everything, making it out of the mud, making a name for herself, trying to get out of this shitty ass apartment to do better and just to elevate her life and herself and my mental as well. And all you give a fuck about is your little pissy phone call that I'm not telling you to hang up. You could resume it. You just chose not to. And don't sit here and try to diminish or disrespect what I'm doing because it's not important to you. I see what you're doing and I'm not diminishing that. I'm still telling you, still be on the phone while you're there. Still just come with me. I'm letting you know I pay for the Uber for us to go. She's screaming at me, hollering. My girl's is looking at me like she's busy. Like, first of all, mind your business. No one was talking to you. And I hate when my grandma does that. Whenever there's something going on between A and B, she has to see her way into it. And it pisses me off so bad. But anyway, so um, I ended up, I, when I tell you I was pissed, like I could literally feel my body boiling. <laughs> like <clears throat> dead ass could feel my body just fucking boiling because now you're disrespecting what I do to make a name for myself and what I do to get paid. And what I need you to do. And, you know, you're disrespecting my dreams and ambitions. And I don't like that. Just because y'all don't have nothing like that going on doesn't mean I don't. You're not going to disrespect what I do. I don't care who you are, mother or not. So at this point, I'm I, I'm still talking to her like, you know, trying to make sense of the situation. Because it's not making sense. You're going to make me wait until tomorrow to get what I need to get done. Because you need to do, you need the entire rest of the day or afternoon or evening to do what you're doing on the phone. No. She literally finished on our way there. Mind you, okay, before I even get to that, at this point, I'm irate. Like, I'm irate. I'm like, fuck this. I slammed the fuck out on the door. And I just start bawling. Like, I start crying. Like, and mind you, I'm not a crier. Like, it takes, it really takes a lot for me to cry. And I hate when I'm really angry to the point where I have to cry because it's not that I'm pussy or it's not that I'm mad or why well, I am mad. It's not that I'm sad or nothing. I'm literally saving you from you getting fucked up because I don't have to put my hands on you because you're, you're, you're trying me. And I hate that. I really hate when I cry when I'm mad because I feel like it shows a sign of weakness. It's really not me being weak. It's literally a fucking newsflash to you or whoever I'm encountering. Like, yo, chill the fuck out before I really wild out and fuck you up, pretty much. So I call my friend back. I call T back. And when I say I'm literally bawling, I met T last week, literally. And we're really good friends. And I literally call her up crying. I don't call anybody up crying. It's, it's very rare that you see me call, calling anybody up crying. And, you know, again, because she was the recent person I talked to, she was helping me out with something I needed done. Um, you know, I just had to call her. So I'm telling her what happened. I'm like screaming and I'm crying and I'm like, yo, like, I really can't stand her. Like, I hate her. Like, I was going off because it was just like, there's no reason why you're still treating me as if I'm such a burden to you. You chose to have me. You chose to bring me into this world. Trust me, if I could see my future and see how this is the life, this was the life that you were going to give me, I wouldn't have came my goddamn self. But because God knew that, you know, I'm his child and he knew that he's seen a lot of potential in me. There's a lot of potential in me and that I could go far and do things with my name and all that. He kept me here. He put me here. Yes, granted, you know, he, I went through a lot of shit, but all that shit makes me the person that I am and I don't regret it. Um, granted, I would never go through this shit again, but you know, like I said, it makes me the strong ass person I am today to sit here and tell my story and to sit here and talk to y'all about it because now I know I'm not the only one that's going through the shit that I'm going through. So then my mom's texting me like, and I'll post the messages somewhere. She was like, um, you're fucking disrespecting me. Let's fucking go. Da, 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 da. Like, and I hate that. My grandma does the same thing. I would literally ask them to do something for me. They'll literally tell me no, complain, bitch, cry, whine and still do for me. Do not complain, cry, and whine about the shit that I'm asking you to do for me if you're still going to go out of your way and do it. Like, we ended up, she ended up getting dressed or whatever. Mind you, she was still on the phone. And her phone call literally finished like 10, 15 minutes before the Uber pulled up. So it, she just really just didn't want to do it. Not because she didn't have the time to, not because it was going to bother her. It bothered her that I was bothering her. And I wasn't really bothering her for her. I was literally asking her if anybody else could have did it for me. Trust me, you weren't be the, you wouldn't be the first or last person I would have asked. I wouldn't have asked you at all. I would have avoided you by all costs. But because you are my love, my mother legally, and I need this stuff from you, I have no choice but to ask you. So, 
that and when I say like that cry like that it it sucked a lot of energy out of me like I literally came home like I was crying and hyperventilating so bad to the point where like I, I kind of felt like I was gonna pass out and that's never happened to me before um I, I really felt like I was gonna pass out when I came home and I laid down like I could feel like I felt like a battery charging like I literally had less than like two percent um my energy was so gone it was it was sucked out of me and I, I needed a nap um I ended up ordering me some food I barely ate yesterday too on top of that which I feel like that's kind of probably why I did feel like I was gonna end up passing out if I didn't calm down if T didn't calm me down thank you girl if you're watching this um it, it was just crazy like I haven't had like a day like that in a long time last week Friday my day was bad which I just talked about in a previous vlog um it, it was it was so bad like I haven't felt like that in a long time and I've been reading like my horoscopes and the saying like you know the devil is really busy with you Sagittarius like you're under attack from the enemy and you need to remain strong and you know God is giving you or putting together your sole purpose and I, I, I see that I see that and I, I don't question God don't get me wrong I don't question it I don't question that man but Lord surprise me some other way like I know a big blessing is coming. I don't know if I'm passing the test or failing, but like that, I don't like having bad days. You know, life isn't perfect. I'm not perfect. You're going to have your good days and bad days, but to have three bad days in a row, we're, we're, today wasn't a bad day, but I'm going to get into how today started off horrible. Um, that pissed me off really bad. Um, and I'm just so glad that I have friends around me that can keep me grounded and I can talk to. And I'm going to talk about this on TikTok too. Um, I don't know why everybody's acting like they can't get recorded and get posted back on social media and look crazy. Um, like that wasn't a thing for me last year. Um, the only reason why I stopped was because they stopped. But now since y'all are acting up, now I'm going to act up with y'all. Anyways, so today, right? Um, y'all know Harmony and Soleil. They're my cousins. They're not my kids. I know a lot of y'all say Harmony looks like me. No, Harmony is not my baby. She's my baby, but she's not biologically my child. I have taken care of Harmony, um, since I was a senior in high school. Harmony was born, I believe, in 2016. Um, if not, 20, yeah, she was born in 2016, because when I was in 2017, I graduated high school. She had to be, like, six months, almost to a year. Um, I have taken care of Harmony since she was a baby. I have helped taking care of um, Soleil since she was like two. Um, they are sisters. They're my cousins. Um, I'm not going to really put their family situation out there like that. Um, but just know their family situation is, it's not your average family situation, you know. Um, just, but they're, they're in good hands. Um, their grandmother takes care of them as well as, you know, everybody in this house. Well, not everybody in this house. Me and my mother. Um, I haven't seen Harmony and Soleil in like a couple of months. And I just thought it was weird that, well, not a couple of months. It's been like two months, but that's two months too long. Um, especially knowing how Harmony is. Harmony, you know, when she's tired of us over here, she'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go home. I want to see my mom. And then, like, within a couple of days, okay, mom's getting on there. I'm going to come back. <laughs> I haven't seen them in so long. And I just... I, I've been really in tune with myself, my inner self, and just me as an entire human being lately. Um, with me being so happy and just on this high of like a new life, a new leaf, um, when I could feel something wasn't right. Um, so, you know, the grandma is going through some things right now. Um, we're not going through some things, but she's a little busy and she just needs, you know, a break. She needs a break, as all adults do. When you're a parent, you need a break, okay? Like, it. <laughs> I'm not even a parent and I be, I've be been raising them little girls and I said, girl, I be needing a break, which is why they, they'll be here with my mom when I'm out. <laughs> and I'm just, I've just started recently going out. But anyway, my mom was being weird about the girls coming here and, you know, she caught an attitude with me and tried to cuss me out today. And it's just like, I really be wanting to know who you're talking to. Like, you're really delusional you, you gotta be like there's no way that you're talking to me like that like that's what I mean parents will really talk to you or talk down to you as if like you're the scum underneath of their shoe I'm not that I'm Nyjah aka neither brat I'm neither brat to y'all I'm Nyjah to people who are close to me but not even that I have my friends call me naive I don't identify myself as Nyjah because I don't know like just I'll do a video on that one day, maybe. If not, then I won't. But I I just don't... 
Like, you're not talking to me. You don't talk to my sister like that. You don't talk to my grandma like that. You don't talk to my ain't shit ass grandpa like that. You don't talk to none of your brothers like that. You're not talking to me like that. So I was just like, okay, whatever. So, you know, I'm getting my room. That's why my bed is a mess. Um, I'm getting my room together for the girls to come because they are coming up here um, to spend some time with me for a while and I miss them. Um, we're going to have so much fun. I'm going to record. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to, you know, get some videos going for Harmony's channel, Soleil's channel. I'm going to make a combined channel for the both of them. Um, I know Harmony said she want to go on TikTok. She wants to go to Disney. I know she's going to bother me about that. Um, I'm not going to say too much about Disney just now. This is not I got something that works for Disney, okay? And whatever my babies want, they get, okay, with their spoiled essays. But yeah, like, I just thought it was weird how, like, ever since I came home, my mom has been real, like, disrespectful and irate towards me, acting like I bother her. I don't do shit. But then when I'm out or when I'm leaving, it's, oh, where are you going? Or, oh, um, when are you coming back? Or, oh, are you quarantining? That's what I meant to tell y'all. When I first came home, and the only reason why she knew that I was out and I went out of state was because on my whiteboard here, y'all see my whiteboard. The whiteboard faces this, like this way, faces my bed this way. So the only way that you could physically see what the fuck is on it and be nosy is when you come in my room and you turn in your body and you look at it. She read my board and it said something about me, you know, doing something for my flight. She texted me the day I come home and was like, um, can you make sure you quarantine? Um, I don't want to get sick. Let me give you all the tea on that. First of all, when COVID was bad, they, my mother and my sister um, and all her friends and their mother, they all went to the beach. COVID was bad as fuck last year and they went to the beach. Like of all places to go, they went to the beach. Y'all remember how I said I was sick around my birthday? I was sick because my mom was sick. How my mom got sick, my sister got her sick. My sister got her sick from being out with her friends and yeah. And if my mother wants to lie about that, she can lie about it. But just know she was talking about it. I don't know why she thinks I, I'm, I'm stupid. She, the walls are thin in this room, in this entire house. You can hear everything. Um, she literally said that, you know, my sister had got her sick from being outside with her friends and not being like cautious. Mind you, for the first year of quarantine, I didn't really go anywhere. Like I went out once with my college friends. Y'all seen that vlog months ago, last year, last summer. And that was really the only time I went out. I didn't have friends for real to go out. They were all over and I don't talk to them no more. Like we're no longer friends. And I'm just now starting to go out with my best friend like every other time, but we're safe with it. And I just thought it was weird how you're telling me to quarantine when your child over here got you sick and don't quarantine worth a damn. And even when quarantine was bad, she still wasn't quarantined. And she was still out and about doing whatever the fuck she wanted to do. And you ain't say shit to her. Or if you did, she just didn't give a fuck. Because she don't. She's self-centered as fuck. She only cares about her and herself only. But yeah, that's pretty much, I wouldn't say a life update, but that's just how my week has been going so far. I'm not in shambles. I'm doing better. Um, I meditated. I prayed. I did take a nap yesterday after I ate. I regained my energy. You know, today is a new day. Whenever I have a bad day, I always like to cleanse all that negative energy out of me. I got sage. I'm going to resage my room as well. Um, and now I feel like I need to get a lock on my door because you're being nosy. Like, there's no reason why... You don't give a fuck about me. I'm such a burden to you. You act like I do everything bad to you. I'm in your way and I'm such a burden to you. And you want to stalk and watch my life. Get out of here. That's so weird to me. Like, we have no relationship. That's the update. I don't fuck with nobody in this house. Yes, I'm still moving out. Um, I have a surprise for you. But like I said, I don't want to say too much about it until everything um, is set in stone. But just pray for your girl because... Once this is done, I can really announce it. I've tried my hardest not to announce this, but because of this one little thing that I need to get done and out the way, um, I don't want to announce nothing yet. Um, but just know your girl's making big moves. And I and like I said, like the devil is busy and so are the miserable in this house. Um, I, as y'all can see, I've been happy lately. I've been out. I've been consistently giving y'all vlogs. I've never dropped weekly vlogs back to back to back for a month. I've never done that. Like, I'm not playing when it comes to my channel. I didn't got a new banner. Y'all y'all will see um, my new um, intro and all that. Like, I, I'm not playing, okay? Like, I'm really trying to take my YouTube serious. I'm really trying to get it back up to the ground. Um, I just got back active on TikTok. Literally almost 100K views in less than 48 hours. I'm back. <laughs> 
talk to me nice okay <laughs> i'm trying i'm not gonna let nobody break me down like i said the devil is really busy and i'm not gonna let him win i'm god's child god's fearing child god don't play by me i just see that about one too many times um just pray for me just keep me um you know in high spirits i love when y'all text me i love when y'all dm me um don't think that y'all comments and stuff go on notice it don't i pay attention to detail i pay attention to who y'all are when y'all support me on the gram and things like that i love y'all so much um but yeah that's pretty much all for today um when i'm done cleaning my room i'll put harmony and soleil on the camera or whatever um and that's pretty much gonna be it <coughs> excuse me um i'm not doing nothing for today i was supposed to go file my taxes but i i, I need to i needed to regain my energy <laughs> like i i felt like uh i don't know like i felt so weak yesterday and i don't like feeling like that so yeah, I will see y'all later. Um, I love you guys. Um, you know, I just had to keep y'all in the loop. Y'all know I don't give a fuck. Y'all know I'm mad transparent. Um, there's nothing to hide. I just can't wait to put this chapter of my life behind me and get the fuck out of here so I can go do what God wants me to do. I can go live my purpose fully uh, without having to worry about anybody watching me, you know, doing anything to make me mad, get me out of my body or character. But yeah, I will, um, I'll check in with y'all later.